For the past seven months, I've been working mostly with static holds and timed static contractions. I have been to the gym quite a few times because I do prefer working out on machines. Today, I'm going over a timed static contraction for the abdominals that you can do at home with absolutely no equipment. I have two free PDFs down below that you can download with one of these. It's a full dining, dining room table workout for people in their 70s, 80s, or 90s who can't get up and down off the ground, which is going to be immensely valuable because I have not seen anything like this. Working with these time static contractions yet on YouTube, just on Drew Bay's channel, a couple of others actually. And this protocol, of course, was uh, Ken Hutchins developed this three layers of moving upward until we get to the highest intensity that we can. And that really does work well for at-home workouts when we when we slowly put ourselves into positions just like we would if we were doing this workout in a gym. It's a very similar protocol in that sense that it's safe for everybody. So those PDFs are down below and there isn't a whole lot to the static crunch. And I'll probably talk your ear off a little bit after this just about some of the experiences that I've had and why I really do prefer this exercise, but let's just get down to it. I'll show you exactly the protocol that we're gonna be using. With time static contractions, we're going to be doing three levels of elevated intensity. If you have never done this before, that is okay. You can follow along my cues and watch what I'm doing and get it down really quick. Very slowly over the course of five to 10 seconds, very gently begin reaching toward your knees with a moderate amount of effort. It's just the stomach contracting and we're reaching in the direction of our knees. You may be able to reach deeply toward that wall. You may not be able to reach very far. It really is okay wherever you're at. That really doesn't matter, especially in accordance with what other people are doing. This is just to build your own stomach muscles right here. We're just going to increase that intensity very slowly over the course of five to 10 seconds to begin reaching and feeling the stomach almost as hard as you dare. Remembering to breathe, even though the stomach muscles do tend to contract our lungs a little bit, making it harder to breathe, deep breaths. Gently focused on the stomach, feeling the place where it burns. And over that course of five to 10 seconds, increasing that intensity very gently to contract the stomach as hard as you dare. Reaching, feeling the core, Again, never if you feel any pinching, only if it's deep muscle engagement only. Reaching that high intensity, breathing deep, as hard as you dare, the final moments of contracting into the stomach, very slowly over that course of five seconds, very gently rest and relax. So the reason I like this one so much is because the, you know, when, when I was helping teach new trainers uh, this method, high intensity strength training, you know, most of what we did were on Nautilus machines in a studio when I was working in that setting. And a lot of people, of course, have great access to other gyms, even if it's not Nautilus equipment, it doesn't have to be. As long as you have access to a gym, you can do this, of course. You don't have to, you can do it all at home. So there's a huge mixture of how we can do high intensity strength training. It's great for all ages. Heck, if you know an 80 year old person does wanna use machines, that's great. And it's gonna help their form a little bit easier to keep good form on machines. But all in all, we can reach the same intensity no matter what. And, you know, of course, that's what all of these courses are for that I've, that I offer and all of the training, you know, in these YouTube videos, you can definitely get something out of those as well, for sure. But when I was working in a studio, you know, we, <laughs> we had that ab machine, the Nautilus ab machine, and it didn't matter that it was a Nautilus machine. Inevitably, 
it was going to take telling the trainers maybe 10, 20, 30 times, you know, that we had to, we had to make sure that the form mattered the most, you know, on that ab machine. There are so many ways to get form wrong. So, you know, if you were up too high, then your elbows would be pushing down. And in that case, you'd just be using your neck and your shoulders to use that, the ab machine. If I could have not had an ab machine in the studio that I was in, I would have just completely not had it. Because I feel like it was a constant struggle in trying to get the trainers to use that abdominal machine correctly. So that's one reason that I really prefer time static contractions because for absolute beginners, for some reason, it seems so much easier to keep your shoulders down and not to engage your lower back so much when we're doing this just on the ground that setting. Now, that may not be true for everybody. There are, of course, ways around that, you know, on the machine settings on an ab machine, you can set a gap in the machine to where instead of starting back here, you start a little bit further upward to where you're bypassing the lower back completely. Or someone does have a weight bench where you can clip your feet underneath into it and just lower back into three levels of increasing intensity over the course of 90 seconds. That's great. That's also another wonderful way to work your abdominals. If you do have one of those benches, it's a great way to do it. Of course, you could also do the dining room table workout. If you can't get up and down off the ground whatsoever, I'll leave that up here. That's for people who want to do high intensity strength training, but really just can't get themselves up and down off the ground, you can get started with a dining room table with just these exercises up here today. So again, the, sometimes the most simplistic things are um, the most effective. And when we're talking about abdominals, for me, I always feel my abs work so much more when I do this, just a time set a contraction crunch, you know? So it gives you a few more options, things to look at. If you've never thought about doing high-intensity strength training at home, my course will be available in about a week, so I hope you do check it out. It'll be available for a, a much lower price than my other one. So I'll talk to you soon. Have a wonderful day. I hope that you live a longer life with strength training.